Hi Englishers! Welcome back to my channel and we're here to have another quality lesson for our English grammar. Okay, I hope that you miss my English grammar lessons. So for today, um, I know there will there are a lot of uh, confusing words and um, if you do have any, please do um, send me a message and yeah, I might um, help you with that. Okay, so um, I'd like to have this discussion for today. Are you still confused in using these following words? Okay, they do have, yes, uh, they make, they also have um, different spelling and they are also used in different ways. Okay, there are still a lot of them okay, in our vocabulary. If you might request for other words, then we can have that one uploaded in our youtube channel okay but uh, before we'll start uh, please do um, like my videos and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't um, started yet okay so here um, we'll have to um, explain or define these three words and how do they differ from one another okay first is okay um, this word here l-o-s-e is pronounced as lose okay so it's with a z sound okay lose here is defined or it is a verb that means to be deprived of someone dear by death or other separation okay so we mean by that as lose okay um the correct spelling is only one o but uh, when we try to um pronounce them okay it's with the long uh, with the long yeah, vowel sound lose lose and these are okay sentences are just simple sentences that will hopefully um clear your clear your mind up okay it is incorrect to say it can be painful to lose a loved one okay why because okay, we are using it as a verb so here we can say it can be painful to lose a loved one and this is also one of the common mistakes that people would misspell okay so loved one always with letter d okay loved one okay i hope you got it there okay another uh, yeah <laughs> another um description or um explanation or the use of the word lose is to fail to maintain okay lose okay this is the way how we um, use them in a sentence it's incorrect to say don't lose touch when people leave for a new position instead we say don't lose touch when people leave for a new position so this is the spelling lose again um this we will have a discussion on the next screen and how we uh, pronounce them okay so uh, for this definition, okay, fail to maintain, okay, we will use this word, okay, lose, okay, only one letter O. Okay. Next to that, okay, so here, another um, use of the word lose. Okay, again, this is used as a verb. Okay, so the meaning for the third um, use of the word lose is to get rid of. Okay, um, we have here example sentence. Um, it's incorrect to say she says I'm lazy because I can't lose weight. Losing weight, okay, so to get rid of, we say can't lose. Okay, this is the correct spelling. Okay, because again, we are using the word as a verb. Okay, this is the verb lose. Okay, I hope it's clear. Now we'll try to have okay more uh expressions okay to um, further um, use the word lose in a uh, more complex sentence okay. yeah um, we say they are figurative okay or they uh, we can use them uh, in more um, useful expressions okay so here these are okay, some of the figurative expressions we can use with the word lose okay to lose one's head, it means to become irrational. Okay. To lose one's mind means to become overwhelmed with anxiety. Okay. Another, to lose heart, it means to become fearful or discouraged. 
and to lose one's nerve to become timid. Okay, we have okay, the final one. To lose sleep over. It means to worry excessively. Okay, you worry too much because yes, um tomorrow will be your um, examination day. Okay, the judgment day. Okay. So another word here, okay. This is something that we are confused with the first one. Okay, the first one is lose only with one letter O. This time, okay, with two letter O's, right? And this is pronounced as loose. Okay, loose, okay, with the sound of s, not z anymore. Okay, this one is loose. This is used as an adjective in the sentence. It means not firmly or tightly fixed in place okay so the expression or the statement we can use this one is i need to see a dentist for my loose tooth not okay for my loose tooth again because this one is a verb and we need to use adjective to this that's why we use this spelling instead loose okay i hope you got it and another um, expression that we sometimes confuse in using with, yes, the word loss. They are actually um, similar to the first one, lose. It's just that this is used as a noun, okay, loss. Okay. So this one is um, with two letter S already, okay, so loss. This is a noun, which means an act of being unable to keep or maintain something or someone. Okay. the expression okay this is incorrect when we say words can't begin to tell you my feelings on the lose of your brothers it is already incorrect because again we have to simply identify which part of speech we are using so this is not supposedly verb here and this one it, we know from our previous discussion or yeah just recently yes this is used as a verb then right so instead, we say, words can't begin to tell you my feelings on the loss of your brothers. So this time, we need a noun after the, on the loss of your brothers. Or yeah, um, our objective here, or our, not objective, but our object here, okay, the loss of your brothers. Okay, so to make things more clear for you this time, we'll have to try some yeah, of the exercises we have. Okay, yes, uh, it's still more of, okay, I think, yes, it, more examples, okay, another meaning of loss is when a company is losing their money, okay, so it's always incorrect to say, um, she is worried and is tensed, okay, sorry for that, she is worried and is tensed because her company is facing a huge, again, this one is verb, so instead we use noun, okay, this is adjective, and then noun. Okay, so huge loss. I hope you get it well there. So now I'm too excited, okay, to have our exercise. Okay, the first one. If I blank this pen, my father will be mad. I blank this pen. What do we need? We already have a noun here. So it means we don't need another noun here. So what we need is a verb. If I lose this pen. Okay, that's correct. And here. Okay. Black fitting jeans is an outdated fashion nowadays. We need here is it could be an adjective or it could be an yeah, we do have a noun here already, so which means to say we need an adjective. Okay, so we have loose. Okay, number three, he will start realizing he's black when you will not talk to him. So we already have the word his, and we are expected to have another noun. Okay, another noun here. Okay, he's lost. Okay, number four. Can you please bring me another pair of shoes? They seem to be a bit... We need an adjective here. Okay, loose. Okay, last number. I might blank with my mind when I can't manage my bills well. Uh, one of the figurative expressions we studied earlier. Okay, I might lose my mind when I can't manage my bills well. It's simple to identify because we are having modal verbs here and that's why um, we need a verb afterwards. That's simple as that. 
Okay, I hope you get it well. If you do have questions, please uh, message me. Yes. Thank you so much for joining with me in today's grammar lesson. See you next time in my next lesson. Bye for now, Englishers. Until then, bye-bye.